Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the new HP Stream laptop. So it's a 14 inch laptop and the main difference uh, to be compared with the previous generation of this budget laptop is that this guy now has 4 gigs of RAM which is twice as more as the previous generation. So it comes in a such box with specifications as you can see 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, then what's in the box is some HP related stuff, questions about your products. Um, then you've got of course the power cord and a quick start guide. Okay, so let's first talk about the external characteristics of this machine. It's quite slim. I like the design. Also, I think, I'm not sure, but I think the upper part of it, it's aluminium. I'm not sure, guys, but it feels like it's an aluminium. It's pleasant to touch. The all other parts are plastic. Also, at the bottom we have this two long horizontal rubber feet and the speakers so this location of the speakers is actually quite interesting because I've never seen a laptop which has speakers on the opposite side of the enclosure um, so the way the speakers work are the sound is when it's the sound is played it's reflected from the surface of your table and actually we can hear it pretty well and the, 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 the maximum volume is, is well enough also I did test it on a soft surface like I did put it on a couch and it was okay as well I, I don't have complaints with regard to that um, on the left side we have three USB ports, two ports are USB 3.0 version and one port is USB 2.0. Also the HDMI port, this I think is a Kensington lock, I suppose. Uh, headphone jack and the microphone jack, so this it can be used both for mic and the headphone. Um, also SD card slot and the status indicator. So as you can see now, this light blinks because the laptop is in the is in the sleep mode. And this the slot is very crucial because, as you may know, this, the storage of this laptop is very limited. It has only 32 gigs of uh, flash drive or SSD drive, which is even less on practice because most of the space is used by the operating system. On the right side we have only a place to plug your power cord, your adapter and uh, yeah and also we have another indicator here which shows you whether the device is charged or it's being charged. Um, honestly guys, I think the device looks very good for $200, or oh, I don't know, I bought it I guess for $220, it looks really expensive. Even last time I brought it, when I went with my friends, I brought it and they told me, oh congrats, how much did you pay for this laptop? I said, guess, and the minimum amount which was mentioned was seven hundred dollars. I mean, six seven hundred dollars, something like that. Really, guys. I mean, <laughs> it looks really expensive. So, the keyboard is a full-size keyboard, and I think the white color is really well integrated with this blue enclosure. Uh, it's really nice to type on. Really nice keyboard. So also this caps lock with the indicator here, LED, the power button right here, 
you have all your function keys in a place and the trackpad is it's actually I think it's good I have no complaints with that also if we look at the the manual here uh, the trackpad supports different types of gestures so we have two finger pin zoom three finger swipe and even four finger tap so for a budget laptop I think it's it's pretty good um, yeah and when it comes to the wireless dual antenna which differentiates this model from the previous one except the RAM size um, it says so the two antennas are located right here so if we look at the bezel like from the left to the very right so this antenna Wi-Fi antenna is located right here it takes all this place here we have the internal microphone the webcam and the webcam LED light so when it's on it the other thing which is worth mentioning is that this laptop is fanless which means it's really really quiet and the reason for that is that this machine is not a pro I mean it doesn't use extra cool graphics it even doesn't have a 1080p screen so that's why there was no need to putting a fan inside and I guess it, there are no there are even no ventilation holes so it's totally closed it's so quiet that the only only thing you can hear is the sound of the processor it's like a tablet actually I mean and it's really slightly gets warm now I'd like to show you how much time is required in order to boot up the operating system on this machine <clears throat> So I have connected my power cord in order to ensure that there's no um, decrease in performance based on the presets of the system, just for any case. So let's power it on. So I have auto, auto sign in enabled, no password. Okay, <clears throat> I'm on my desktop, that's all. It's pretty fast. Now let's talk about a few other things. So this device has Intel RHD graphics 400. As you see, the dedicated video memory is 128 megabytes. Um, the screen resolution is uh, 1366 and to 768, which is, I mean, of course it's a budget laptop. You won't, you shouldn't expect a 1080p here. But the other thing to mention here, guys, when you look at the screen and when you try to adjust the angle of your uh, screen, when you move it, I don't know if you can see it. Do you see this? Here it's like a small distortion here. I don't know if you can really notice it, but at the bottom, just right above the HP logo. So a few other things to show you here. Uh, let's, let me show you the uh, the storage. So as you can see, I have a clean system. I have nothing more instead of just operating system itself. And look. 20.4 gigs used out of 29. So basically I have only 9 gigs left for my personal files, programs and other kind of sort of rubbish to be saved onto this flash drive, SSD drive. Which is, which is really, I mean, really, really nothing. You, 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 I mean, imagine just writing down like few DVD movies and that's all. You, you're out of storage. But luckily we have this SD card slot here, which I mentioned. So let me show you, like, if you, in case you're willing to use, to rely on SD memory, I have an eight gig old Transcend card here. Let me plug it in into this SD card slot. Okay. So if you're gonna use this laptop by the card always attached to it, so this is how it's gonna look. It's gonna pop up a bit from the 
body of the laptop. Not a big deal, but for some people it may might be irritating. So now I'd like to show you some multitasking, basic multitasking stuff. So let's run a 1080p YouTube video. Actually, when you switch to full screen, you can see a slight delays. I don't know why it's happening, but maybe this machine really handles the task like that. But let's just do it again. Like tap. You see, like second delay or something but not a big deal honestly let's play it okay let's just increase some volume a bit more. okay let's jump to another app so it's one note again this uh settings bird document okay start something okay again one note interlarge the graphics panel desktop um YouTube, this, 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 okay, this again, this again, it's, it's, it's pretty smooth, I mean, really, I don't know, I like it, let's put the volume on maximum, alright, uh, the last thing I've noticed before uploading this video is that <clears throat> when you put the sound on max, like the maximum level, and when you put your palm like that, so you just type, you know, you just do something, uh, you kind of feel a little vibration over uh, this and this areas. And this is because the speakers are located just below these areas, just under these areas. Um, so that's not a big deal, but for some people that might be not comfortable. So that's why I got, uh, I thought like it's worth mentioning it. But if you decrease your volume to 50 or 60 percent, I mean, you you almost can't feel anything. So, so I guess that's a something should be mentioned. And the other thing here is, as you can see, there's white dot at the top left side of the screen, just right under the bezel, you see this um, white spot. So this is a factory defect. Uh, I tried to grab it by tweezers, but was unlucky, and instead I just um, scratched the screen. Uh, then I, I took the sponger and just you know, try to push it under the bezel, under this frame. And I kind of was able to diminish the dimensions of this white spot a bit. But I mean, really, I know it's a budget letter, but still, such things are unacceptable. So hopefully, you won't get this spot when you purchase this laptop. It may be me who was unfortunately unlucky. I wasn't able to test the battery performance of this device. But based on the information available from other sources, uh, it's around nine hours. And when I even charged it last time, the Windows was showing me like nine and a half hours left until the until the battery is drained. So I guess it's pretty good for a fourteen-inch laptop. Yeah, and. Uh, my final recommendations to you guys will be that if you're looking for a device to do video editing and gaming, don't go for this machine. That's not for you. Yeah, it can handle the basic games, but I mean, really, it's, I guess it's better to invest to pay a few hundred more dollars and get, get what you want. Uh, and uh, also you can use this device for storing your video files, you know, uh, or photos, but again, you have to use the either SD card, which is limited in capacity, or always connect the external hard drive, which is not so comfortable, but it can do its job. But in reality, this laptop is perfect just for text editing, you know, working with presentations, surfing the web. 
Uh, and the last but not least, I'm planning to install um, Ubuntu Linux into this device because I'm not a big fan of Microsoft ecosystem. And plus, I think that the Linux will perform better here, will give me more opportunities and I'll be able to save uh, more space on uh, my SSD drive. So if you want to see how Linux works, I'm gonna, I will, I'm gonna, I will upload the video once I install it. So click subscribe in order to check it out as soon as the video is available. So I hope my video will help you to decide whether to buy this device or not. And thanks for watching. Bye.